Hello, my little creatives, and welcome back to another episode of Draw Fully Fun, Draw With Me. We're in for a very special treat today because today we're going to be doing character number two out of my messy artist series. I think I have about six characters in the series and this is character number two. For those of you that did not see number one, you can check it out over here in the cards somewhere above, probably about right here. <laughs> it is my messy artist B. It was so much fun doing that B. So I highly recommend you jump on over there after this video and check that out. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're doing a skunk today, a very very, very messy skunk. So let's waste no time. Let's jump right in. Let's start with the eyeball. We only have one eyeball today. Since she's looking to the left, we're going to get a profile view of her. So let's go ahead and start with that one single eyeball. Let's do a rainbow curve right here in the middle of the page. Ooh, this Sharpie is a brand new one straight out of the box and it is juicy. Look at that juicy, juicy marker. My oh, goodness. Let's do a big circle all the way around. Big hot air balloon going all the way around. And you know what we're going to do here. Let's do our pupil. We're going to have her looking to the left. She's going to be looking at a little art brush or a little paint brush. So we want her looking to the left. Big old curve going right down the middle. And again, right behind that, let's do our stripe. We're setting up to do our ladders. Big old ladders. Ready? Let's do our song. Climbing all the way up to the tippity top. Look at that. Hey, my voice is getting a little better. I was able to sing it without it cracking. Not bad. <laughs> let's do a big sparkle on top. Bloop. And a little sparkle on the bottom. And of course, we don't want creepy eyes, right? Let's not do creepy eyes. Let's do cute eyes. Let's come over here and do an adorable little eye. All oh, nice and big. Juicy, juicy marker. Look at that. Wow, it just glides right on. Woo. Look at that. Very pretty today. Love it. Now remember, for those of you that have never been here before, the ladder is the only spot in the eye that's going to get your color. The outside is, of course, going to be white, and the inside is going to be your pupil with the sparkles. All right. Now we've got a few things we're going to do here. If you want to make yours a cute little girl one, we can come over here and do cute little eyelashes. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of the cat in Looney Tunes that Pepe Le Pew is always running after. She's not a skunk, she's a cat. And Pepe Le Pew is always, always running after her. He is in love with her thinking she's a skunk. Those of you that know Looney Tunes, yes, there was a skunk. It was adorable. You know my age now. It's what I was raised on. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, look him up. Pepe Le Pew. Super cute. All right, let's do our nose over here. We're going to come over here and do a jelly bean nose. We're not doing a hook nose. No, we're doing a jelly bean right over to the left of our eye. So just below that rainbow curve, come over here to the left and do that jelly bean just like that. Now, instead of a hook, we're just going to do a jawline. So we're going to go from the middle of this point, just like if we were doing a hook. And we're going to bring it all the way to the back of the rainbow right here of its eye. And this is going to turn into the jawline slash mouth. Bloop. Right there. Very, very easy. Nothing fancy today. And we're going to do a very basic little mouth right here. Just a small smile, like a little triangle with a happy face right on the top. Very basic smile today. All right. Look at that. Super, super cute. Now, before we can run up here and do the, the full triangles and fuzziness of the hair, I want to come over here and do the ear and a bow right on top of her hair. And her ear is going to be covered by a whole bunch of hair. Skunk ears are very tiny, very adorable and cute. They may look cute and cuddly, but don't cuddle a skunk. Whatever you do, don't cuddle a skunk. Unless you want to stay outside for quite a while before you're let inside the house again. Don't cuddle a snunk snunk <laughs> oh no skunk snunk that's a new one let's call it a snunk this is snunk no 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 i don't like that <laughs> let's do our little hairs right here so we're gonna do a bunch of triangles like if it were grass all across the corner here nothing crazy just a few of them just across the edge here 
And this is gonna be kind of like a baseline for our ear because the ear is gonna come around right on the back here. So we're gonna do a big rainbow curve, bloop, 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 like that. And then an itty bitty one right on the inside. Whoop, two little boop for the inner ear. Look how cute. I told you it was an itty bitty ear. Itsy bitsy little cute ear. Then right behind the ear, I'm gonna do my bow. Now you don't have to do this bow, like I've told you in all my other videos, you don't have to do it the way I do it. You can customize your drawing, do whatever style you want. So right here behind the ear, if you are doing the bow, go ahead and do a little circle coming out from the back, kind of like it's layered back there, just a tad bit. And then we're gonna come around and do our puffies. Now you can do your bow however you want. I tend to like to do little butterfly puffies going around like this, bloop. Very tiny little butterfly look. Same thing over here, a little butterfly and bring it around. There we go, look at that. Let's make it look like it's folded around. Right here, bring it all the way up, bloop. And bring it all the way up like that you can kind of bring in these little edges to make it look like it's folded right here and add some cute little folds right on the inside if you want to add those details of course you don't have to do that if you don't want to all right now since we know it's a furry character what do we do with our furry characters when we want to do their hair hmm triangles we're gonna do lots and lots of triangles <laughs> we always have a mohawk so let's go ahead and build upwards to create some little triangles here to look like a mohawk okay so right here from our nose we're gonna curve like if we're making a moon shape we're gonna go all the way up and into our first triangle right here number one all right then we're gonna have a few more I think I'm gonna do two more going upwards and then connect it over to the bow so from here, we're just going to go up like that. And then one more. Let's go and bring it all the way up to the back. Make a cute little rounded triangle and close it out to the bow. Bloop. Like that. Look at that. Super, super cute. We're going to continue our triangles coming down the back line right here. So we're going to curve it all the way around. If you did your bow, just follow this little invisible path right behind the bow and then start creating triangles going all the way down i'm going to use my jawline as a reference point on where my neck is going to end before it transitions into the back so from my little neckline i'm going to come down in an angle and i'm going to make a dot right here so i know where i'm going to stop because this is where her little neckline is going to be so from the bow, let's make a whole bunch of triangles and you can make them messy. You can make them go every direction you want. So let's go crazy with it. Let's go one right here. Let's change directions right here. The key to making them look really messy is making them turn into different directions. If you do them all in one direction like this, it's gonna look a little bit more like a Christmas tree if you have a long piece like that. But if you do them in different directions, we're gonna come around and make it super messy like that, you see? Messy, messy, different directions. Let's go another one right here, bloop. Super, super messy, but cute. Let's curve it a little bit, bring it upwards like that. And look, we're getting close to our dot, so that means I'm not gonna add any more here. I don't wanna make it too cluttered, so I'm just gonna close this out, boop, right to that little dot. So we're just connecting the dots. Look at that, super, super cute. Oh, I love her. She is definitely one of my top favorite characters from my Messy Artist series. I told you there's six of them, and this is definitely one of the top, I think top three, maybe even top two. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. When we get all six of them introduced and you get to vote on them, we'll see who are you gonna be your top three. All right, let's come down here and let's make a little arm. She's holding a little paintbrush, so we want her arm bent, so she's gonna have that little triangle pointed elbow. So let's start a shoulder right over here. So just where we left off on this neckline, we're gonna come right over to the left and we're gonna make a little rainbow curve just above this way, facing downwards. Kind of like if it was facing your neck. You see how we're going in this direction? Let's keep going that direction. And do a little curve so bring it all the way around doop, 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 doop. nice and big look at that big rainbow big 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 rainbow so you see how it's going all in that same direction 
Now we want to come around and do the top and the bottom of our arm. So let's bring this a little closer here and bring it all the way up bloop, 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 like this. So it looks like a little V shape. And then let's bring this all the way around and meet where we left off right here. So bring it all the way into a curve, kind of like a V shape and up like that and look at that you got an elbow it kind of looks like a very squished heart <laughs> very squished like that now the way we like to do hands here when they're holding on to something is giving them little stubby jelly beans it's gonna wrap around this little brush now I know sometimes a lot of artists struggle with creating fingers and hands so I'm going to show you this the easiest way I can possibly think of to show it to you so what I want to do is right here on this corner we're just gonna do a tiny rainbow curve bloop, right there very tiny see how it's a tiny little bump and then we're gonna do a happy face curve right here this is where that paintbrush is gonna set so think about your hand kind of going like this it's gonna look like that right so right here we're just gonna do a happy face curve going up boop. nice happy face curve so far so good and then we're gonna do three little hills to close this section off right here three little jelly beans one two three and let's close this all the way around till we get to the bottom right over here so just a slight curve make a little bubble round curve bloop. and you got yourself a little hand and look at that now we just got to create that little toothbrush no why am i saying toothbrush well you can hey yeah you can put a toothbrush here nobody's gonna stop you from doing that i'm gonna do a paintbrush not a toothbrush paintbrush so let's just follow this little curve right here bring it upwards straight up we don't want to go in an angle we want to go straight up right we don't want that paintbrush going up our nose <laughs> so let's go all the way up bloop 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 right there it's gonna be right next to her nose kind of like if she's holding it upwards maybe she's eyeballing whatever she's looking over here maybe she's trying to do some still life and she's trying to get the the proportions correct so she's measuring it I don't know maybe either that or she's smelling the paint <laughs> don't go off smelling paint everybody okay disclaimer it is not good to go smell paint so just scratch that idea don't do it <laughs> let's go ahead and come over here and close this section off with a little oval boop right there and then we're just gonna make this look like a water drop which is ultimately the top of our paintbrush so bring this all the way around curve it up and back down boop. there we go looking good let's do the bottom of this so we're gonna follow this invisible path right behind her hand as best as we can and bring this down follow this invisible path right here and bring it down and you got yourself a paintbrush or a toothbrush <laughs> anything you want to make all right let's go ahead and close off all these gaps so that we don't have just a floating arm here let's go ahead and do the chest line the chest line is just going to be made up of triangles again we want this to be a very fuzzy character so from just above the shoulder right here bring this into our first triangle looking like a shark fin number two right here and then close it out right above the arm easy peasy lemon squeezy look how cute she looks I love her so much oh my gosh I forgot how much I love this skunk it's been a while since I've drawn this one and let me tell you I missed her <laughs> all right let's go ahead and bring down the back side so we want to make some more triangles not as many as you think but a few of them so we're gonna curve it downwards right here from where we left off on that neckline and bring it into one triangle here like that another one facing down here Bloop. like that and then we're gonna close this out right here but don't bring it any more down because we're gonna have a tail wrapping around here this is kind of my little cheat way getting away from doing little feet <laughs> I didn't want to do feet on this character so I was trying to think of a way to really get this tail to stand out so I decided to make the tail look like it's wrapping around her and hiding the rest of her body so it's kind of like a little cop-out of having to do so many details on a body <laughs> so if you struggle with details hey if you have a tail cover the body <laughs> easy peasy so let's do another little hand right over here so it doesn't look too weird without another hand so we're not going to do an arm we just want the tiny little uh, image of a hand coming around from the back 
So from this little chest line curve, come around here, make an invisible path into a tiny line, just so you have the beginning of our belly curve. And then we're gonna do a little hand sticking out from here. So just like we did three little hills on this side, we're gonna do it this way, facing out this way, and do three more right here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then a bubble going all the way around, boop, and wrap it around. So it looks like she's holding on to her waistline. So she's holding her belly, kind of holding away the hair, and looking at that paintbrush, eyeballing whatever she's trying to measure over there. There we go. And then we just do another little tiny line right below this one. Follow this invisible path again so everything's lined up. Boop. Like that. Not too far down. Let's keep it just nice and tiny because, like I said, we have a tail that's going to be wrapped around here. All right. So let's do this tail. This tail is going to be beautiful. Wait till you see it. So we're going to start right where we left off about right here and in the middle of our body. So kind of measure out the middle. Maybe bring it down from your arm right here. And this is where our line's going to go, where our, it's actually going to show the bend where it decides to turn directions. So we're going to go to the right, right here, do a big rainbow curve that goes into a triangle going out, like that. And then we're going to do two more triangles facing downwards, and then this little brush, why was I going to say brush, tail. This little tail is going to make a big turn and come all the way to this side right here. So we're going to do two more, one, two like that and then watch how we instantly turn this around we're gonna make a really big smiley face curve so from right here come all the way around all the way into a triangle look at that big curve really big 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 curve all right looking good looking good and before we do the rest up here let me give you the idea of what it looks like up of, up over here so where we landed right here on this mid part we're going to create a really big rainbow curve so just like we have a big happy face curve we're going to make double the size of a rainbow going all the way around so let's start from right down here and curve this kind of meet where this line is and come out all the way over here ready all the way up up, 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 and into a triangle like that. I told you it's going to be at least double the size, maybe even triple the size of this big old happy face curve. Look at that big epic tail. Now we're going to do a tiny, well, more of a big triangle right here. We're going to make it look like it's curving downwards. So from this line, this triangle, bring it downwards to another triangle, go up, and we're going to curve this inwards to about right over here. Nice big curve, nope. right there. You see how we're getting here? We're doing this moon shape. Let's do one triangle popping out from right here like this and bring it down to meet down to this little triangle. And there you go. We have the basic shape. The basic shape of our skunk is ready, but I don't know, she's looking quite plain to me. What do you think? We really need to make her stand out to actually look like a skunk now. So let's go ahead and create some lines around the body to create that black and white look. So we're going to start all the way from the very bottom of the nose. Yep, we're coming all the way back up here. And we're going to go all the way around the body. So this line is going to come around and just follow the shape of your eye going all the way up. All the way up, 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 up. And bring it down past the eye and come right to the shoulder. Bloop. Just like that. Right center point of that shoulder. There we go. Looking good. Now this is why, see, some of you may think that I forgot the eyebrow. But no, I didn't. I didn't want to do the eyebrow just yet. Because I wanted to do this line first to see where I would place that eyebrow. So we're going to do it right down here. Now don't do it up here because this is the black part of your skunk. We don't want a black eyebrow where the black of your skunk is going to go. So we want it where the white's going to go to off center that. And so the off contrast that, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's come down here and make the other stripes. So we're going to have the difference between the belly curve and the outside back curve. So we're going to follow this invisible path, come down here. And then create a curve all the way around bloop, to the tail like that easy peasy super super cute 
Now, before I go off and make the big epic white stripe that's gonna go right behind it, because all of this is supposed to be black. This entire section here is supposed to be black, but then it has a white stripe going around the whole thing. This is where this sets this apart and creates the messy artist character. Now, if you don't want yours to be a messy artist, don't worry about this next part. Just completely skip this part and then go down to the stripes. I'm gonna make paint dripping all around in different sections, maybe one right here, one right here. I'm gonna do one right on her arm. So she's really, really messy, super, super messy. Let's come over here to the tail, do an epic, epic drip right here. Yeah. There's no wrong or right way to do this. You could do as many or as little as you want. Let's do a little one right here. Yep. And then I want her tip of the tail to be completely full of paint, like if she dipped it into something and all of it got super, super messy. So I'm just gonna have the entire tip of the tail bloop, like that. There we go. Now I can go ahead and come in here and do the stripe. So we're gonna do the stripe that goes down the back line first. So we're gonna go from our tail line and go upwards, make it thick on the bottom and thin on the top. Same thing over here, it's gonna look like a super sharp triangle. Bring it from here, make it nice and thick, and then start thinning it out as you get to the top. Nice and thin, Boop. like that, look at that, gorgeous. Now we're gonna come around and do the shape of this tail. So from where we left off on these two stripes, we're gonna come around and do our stripes curving the same shape of the tail. Just follow that shape, go behind your drips. This is why I wanted to do the drips first. If you didn't do the drips, just bring it all the way around, go right behind this little section, and then pretend like if you're creating that little tiny sharp edge, and then back out, create a little invisible path all the way around, doop, 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 and back over here. And there you go, we got ourselves a skunk tail. Now there's no feet, remember, so there are no feet, it's hiding behind this entire tail. Let's take a quick look around. Ooh, no way, we gotta do some here. Bloop, we can't have a paintbrush without paint. Oh my goodness, right here, right here, bloop. Lots of blobby little paint. Now if you wanna add any more paint, go for it. You can add some even to the bow if you want to. I decided to leave my bow like this. I don't wanna make it too messy because I have a lot of details already in here. So I'm just gonna leave it to her. And I think that's it, y'all. Let me see, let me see. We are done. Oh my goodness, we are officially done. Check out this messy artist skunk, everybody. Thank you so much, my little assistant, for holding my Sharpie. We have yet to name you, so please leave a name in the comments below of what you want this character to be named, and also this character. What should we name this one? Hmm, I don't have a name for her. <laughs> All right, everybody, you know what's coming up next. Are you ready for the final reveal? In three, two, one, the completed version. <laughs> All right, everybody, you know the drill. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and ring that notification bell, ding, ding, so you can get notified of all of my content coming up. Lots and lots of amazing stuff coming up. Gaming characters on the way as well. Maybe some Pokemon characters. Hmm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> all right, everybody, until the next time, happy creating.